In this video, we're going to learn about the non-local keyword in Python. So the non-local keyword allows us to modify a variable in the enclosing scope of an inner function. So for example, if we have an outer function and inside that outer function, we have a variable, enclosing scope variable, and we assign this variable the value 10. We can then define an inner function. So we'll have here def inner. Now to the inner function, this variable here is in the enclosing scope. We could access that variable with print and then inner colon, and we'll output here the enclosing scope variable. Then we'll call the inner function from inside the outer function. Then we'll call the outer function. So if we save the program and try it out, we'll get here that the enclosing scope variable has a value of 10. So right now, this variable is in the enclosing scope of this function. If I try to modify this variable, we might not get what we expect. So if here I had enclosing scope variable is equal to 20, then down here, if I try to output enclosing scope variable again with outer colon and then enclosing scope variable, then if we save the program and try it out, we'll get here inner 20, outer 10. So what's happened is here, when we assigned the value 20 to enclosing scope variable, instead of using this variable here, defined in the enclosing scope for this inner function here, instead, a new variable that's local to the inner function was created. And we assigned 20 to this new variable. Then we output here that variable's value, which was 20. But this variable here in the enclosing scope is still set to 10. So when we output that variable here, we get outer is 10. If we actually want this inner function to be able to modify this variable in the enclosing scope, we have to use the non-local keyword. We could have here non-local and then enclosing scope variable. What this will do is give the inner function the same enclosing scope variable as in the enclosing scope here. So now if I save the program and try it out, now we get inner 20 and outer 20 because this time the inner function actually modified the variable in the enclosing scope. And we used the non-local keyword to do that. So this is how we can use the non-local keyword in Python. Check out PortfolioCourses.com where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.